Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product every day series. Today I am so excited about these LA Colors gel lip liners. So LA Colors sent me the entire collection of their new gel lip liners and you may have seen these in my recent PR unboxing haul video. But if you have not seen that video yet, I'll have that linked in the description down below so that you can check it out. But I also received their whole collection of their new gel eyeliners, which I did try out already and they blew me away. They are incredible. Like, I don't know how they can make such a perfect and kind of unique, like different than any other eyeliner I've really tried before, but for such an affordable price. So if you have not seen my review on the new gel eyeliners yet, I'll have that video linked in the description down below as well, because I highly recommend them. They were so pigmented, so creamy, just glide right on, the most vibrant white eyeliner ever. So yeah, definitely check that out. But that just made me even more excited to try out these lip liners. And I just love lip liners. Eyeliners, not my favorite type of makeup product. I don't wear them all that often, but lip liners have actually become one of my top favorite types of makeup products that I wear every single day. Lip liners have just changed how my lips look, how I feel about my lips. So I'm just so beyond grateful to have all of these shades here. So the new gel eyeliners retail for $3.50 each. That's it. And it comes in eight different shades and I am so excited. It looks like you've got a great range, reds, pinks, nudes. So I'm so excited to try these out. But before I do, let me just give you a little bit more product information. So they're supposed to be smudge proof and long wearing. I'm very excited to test that out. Easy to sharpen, cruelty free, paraben free, vegan. So I'm definitely going to swatch a few of them, wear a few of them. So first, I just, of course, I have to swatch this beautiful hot pink called Hottie. <laughs> hot pink called Hottie. And so yeah, it's not the twist up kind and it's a little deceiving because it is like a plastic exterior, but you still just use a pencil sharpener to sharpen it. So let's swatch this. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is basically a neon pink. It is popping and it glides right on full pigment. Here you can see what that looks like. Wow, this formula is impressing me just as much as those eyeliners did. Oh my goodness. I'm also gonna go ahead and swatch the red shade because then on my lips, I wanna do a multicolored, nude, neutral type lip, but the red is called alluring. Oh my gosh. I just love the feel of writing with these. So soft, so gentle, doesn't pull on the skin at all. Just so incredibly pigmented, wow. And that is a perfect shade of red. I would say it's like you're perfect in the middle, not too blue, not too orange, just like a perfect red shade to go with any red lip. So here's how that one looks as well. Okay, I am so excited to put these on my lips. So I'm gonna start out by lining my lips using the shade Rose All Day. Okay, this shade is amazing. It definitely doesn't look like how it looks in the packaging here. It's more of a peachy red shade. Like, I love this shade, that's beautiful. So I just lined right on my natural lip line on the bottom lip, but then on my top lip, I like to go slightly over my natural lip line to do a little overlined effect to make the lips look bigger. So I just start at the natural cupid's bow in the middle and then go slightly above at the arch and then go right back onto my natural lip line in the corner to make it 
look as natural of a shape as possible. But here you can actually see with one side done versus without it, the difference in size. But gosh, I love this shade. I love how easy it glides on. You only lightly touch it to your skin and you get that full pigmented look. And then because these are so soft and creamy, I feel like they're going to be great to fill the lips in with as well. So to do that for all except for the very center because I wanna do an ombre lip, I'm going in with the shade Cafe. It seriously is so easy to draw in my lips. And then even when I rub them together, it's creamy enough that it did kind of transfer exactly where I needed it to on the top lip. And I love this shade as well. It's kind of like a light burgundy. And then to fill in the center of my lips and complete the ombre effect, I'm going in with the shade Fetching. Ooh. These work so well for doing an ombre lip because of how soft and creamy they are. You can easily blend the shades together to get a seamless ombre effect so that it can look a little bit more natural. I will say there's a tiny bit of stickiness that I'm noticing on my lips. That doesn't really bother me, but just have to call that out. Love this shade as well. Seriously, every shade is a shade that I'm so excited to wear on my lips and I'm definitely going to get use out of. But seriously, so pigmented, so easy to apply. Now it says that they are smudge proof and long wearing, so let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a little smudging at the top just because there was like a little piece of like the pencil that I just kind of smudged there, but like the actual product where it's drawn down and not loose product, that's actually amazingly smudge proof. And for how soft and creamy it is, I'm surprised. Now let's see if there's any transfer from my lips. No transfer at all. I love when there's no transfer with a lip product and I am truly shocked that there is no transfer with this because it looks and feels like a cream <sighs> lipstick that would have just come from a lipstick tube. You might be able to hear Dexter barking in the background now. But like it's not drying on the lips. It does claim to have a matte finish and I would say it's matte but it's also still very creamy and not at all drying, which is saying a lot for me because I have dry chapped lips, but not at all with this lip liner on. And a lot of other lip liners that I try and wear all over my lips like I am with this, end up drying out my lips, feeling so uncomfortable, clinging to dry patches on my lips, but wow, this not at all. It's smooth, even color. So. I absolutely love these. These are going to be my new go-to lip liners. I'm so excited about them. They are just absolutely perfect in formula, colors, texture, everything. The fact that they don't transfer, that they're long wearing, it's just everything I look for in a lip product. But then the fact that it's a lip liner and so affordable and cruelty-free and vegan, I just cannot think of a product that gets any better than this. Oh, and that it's super moisturizing and comfortable on my dry chapped lips, like amazing. I am so blown away. LA Colors is just an absolutely incredible brand. They are always impressing me. And I love that they make amazing lip liners accessible to everyone to purchase at such an amazing price point. So I highly recommend these. And why not treat yourself to a few different shades? Because I think you'll get great use out of all of the shades. They are all amazing and beautiful. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, 
comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.